36-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Swing, swing on the field, right. On the right. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second down throw for Prescott. Drops it underneath Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up a third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it pick up first downs. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, Elliott shedding the tackle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They keep on the ground with Elliott, and he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting that can half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Now Elliott. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. He's going to get it running right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are in for six. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And now running right through it. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. That's complete to Meredith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It goes for a gain of 10, and it's a first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. 12 more yards there and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They go play action here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Breeze now. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. That's going to be backfires. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up the score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be a second down. Second down, Prescott, a dump off to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. A first down carry by Elliott. And he spins free. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The give is to Elliott. 
And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior through the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A give to Elliott. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now Elliott. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Prescott now on second down. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Prescott going to come up first and 10. And he's a perfect 5-for-5 five five here to begin the game. 46, 46, 46. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know this being an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Prescott now fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. Able to corral him right at the midfield stripe following that sparkling display of footwork we saw. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now an Eastern Michigan man, Darius Jackson of the carry. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. 
obviously they want that run yardage so they decline the penalty they had no doubt about it smart on their part they finished off the play but if you're going to jump if you're going to commit a penalty it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that on the ground this is jackson and he'll lose yardage here back at the 47 a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Looking to throw. Prescott. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by a former first-round pick, Patrick Robinson. Cooper was the target there. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They'll try to get the offense going with Camara. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Give him 30 yards there. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Breeze to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Breeze, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play. Taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. From the 22, here's second and eight. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team. They're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down a good pick up there of 20 yards and looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter but still not afraid to throw it as they show there you want to play the game with confidence and they have a guy who's in control right now their trigger guy throwing it they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Prescott from the gun. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Trucks over him. And now running right through him. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me? 